We're going to talk a little bit about hawthorn. Hawthorn is a large, large shrub or a small tree. The Latin name is Crotagus and it's a lot of different species, so we just call it Crotagus species, but generally Monogyna or some others. Um, so, how do I identify t um, hawthorn? Me and Kim always say that the leaf looks a bit like someone meditating, so that's someone sitting with their knees, there's their arms, and there's their head. Also, if you drew a direct line around it, it would kind of be diamond shaped. That's another identifying feature. And then, it's another name for it is Mayflower. And in May, you get these lovely flowers that come out that are normally five petals on each and white with a tinge of pink. Sometimes you get really, really pink ones. Um, they're in the apple family, so they have very similar flower shapes and structures to apples. And what we use hawthorn for is for mainly heart. It's all about the heart with hawthorn. Um, there's been lots of studies that show it can be beneficial for high blood pressure, low blood pressure, cholesterol, normalising um, how your heart beats and, um, and works. And it's a great remedy for anyone who gets palpitations without any serious underlying causes um, and slightly raised blood pressure. So what we use is the flowers and the first young leaves. And then in the autumn time, the flowers become berries and we use those too. We make a tincture, which you can find instructions for on our website or in one of our books. Um, and yeah, enjoy Hawthorne. Just make sure that if you're treating any kind of underlying heart problem, that you get medical treatment first um, and don't self-medicate. So, how do we use Hawthorne? As I mentioned before, you can make it into a tea, but a really traditional remedy is to use it in brandy. So you make a tincture by steeping the flowers in brandy and they have this lovely almondy taste. It's a little bit amaretto-ish. Um, and that is the best thing for anxiety, particularly if you're someone that feels anxiety in the chest. Whenever me and Kim first started doing our herb walks and workshops and we had to do public speaking, we got a bit nervy, we'd always take a small shot of hawthorn brandy before and it always settled our nerves. 